Yeah, Christine, ever since her kidnapping back in February, her family has done everything they can think of to bring her back home, including making public pleas to her kidnappers, approaching the State Department, even their congressperson and officials in Mexico. And tonight, they held a prayer vigil, hoping to keep up the pressure. I miss you tremendously, Mom. We will get you back, I promise. For 143 days, the family of kidnapped American Maria del Carmen Lopez have been praying for her safe return. And at a vigil in Norwalk, they aren't just appealing to a higher power, but also the powers that be in Mexico's National Palace and the White House. We need to, um, President Biden to step in and have the Department of Justice look into the case. We feel that at 148 days, it's gone silent. We're being ignored by the Colima, the Colima governor, Indira Vizcaino. She isn't offering any assistance, so our next step is to implore the help of uh, Manuel Lopez Obrador. Since February, when Lopez was taken from this home in Colima, Mexico, the family says Mexican officials have done little to find her, despite a huge ransom demand and an audio recording that proves she's still alive and being held against her will. It's been our own living hell, you know, living the same day over and over again because we don't have any answers. Lopez's husband of 46 years says he can't speak about her without crying, and her seven children and 19 grandchildren are vowing to get her back. Posting missing persons posters in Colima and holding vigils, hoping if conscience doesn't prompt her kidnappers to release her, maybe international pressure will. The family has been working with the FBI and the agency is now offering a $25,000 reward in the case. Again, she has been gone for 148 days and counting and the family is hopeful with each passing day they will be one day closer to bringing her home. Live in Norwalk, Christy Pajardo, Fox 11 News. Christy, thank you.